Young scholars, welcome to Lilja's history lesson. Today's topic will be none other than Alexander the Great. Trumpets, okay, let's start from the beginning. Alexander was born to royal parents in Pella, Macedonia in July of 356 BCE. His parents were Philip II and Olympias. At 12, he proved himself worthy by taming a massive wild stallion. His horse became his battle companion for most of his life. At 13, he was tutored by the great philosopher, Aristotle. He was interested in philosophy, literature, science, and medicine. Alexander was 16 when his father left him and Olympias for war. In 338 B.C., Alexander saw the opportunity to prove his military wealth and led a cavalry against the sacred band of Theds during the Battle of Chironia. He proved his might and won the battle. Soon after, Alexander left to continue Macedonian world domination. He left to Persia with his army. In 334 BCE he defeated the Persians of Asia Minor at the Battle of Granicus, giving him control of all of Asia Minor. Three years later, in 337 BCE, Alexander was crowned King of Macedonia. In the autumn of 332 BC, Alexander the Great conquered Egypt an event that marked the beginning of the Greek period in Egyptian history. He died in June, 323 BCE in Babylon. His greatest accomplishments. In 334 BCE, he wins Battle of the Granicus River against Darius III of Persia. In 332 BCE, he wins Siege of Tyre, attacks Gaza, which falls. He founds Alexandria in 331 BCE and wins the Battle of Gargamela against Darius. He marries his first wife, Roxane, in 327 BCE and begins the march to India. His impact on society. In my opinion, Alexander the Great had a huge impact on modern-day society. Alexander played a significant role in the spreading of the Greek culture across the known world. This was to make sure that the culture would continue influencing the lives of people for a long time to come.